Hey, Marvin Harrison Jr., that's one of the matchups that Ohio State certainly can win. The 37th unanimous All-American in Ohio State history. You know, he basically broke the robotic quarterback in their football building this year, catching so many passes. So can you imagine wow. what he probably does to <laughs> defensive backs trying to cover him in terms of breaking their confidence? Marty Smith is with us. Harrison's brilliant play runs and catches in the family, Marty. Reese, good morning. Happy New Year, everyone. Marvin Harrison, the Pro Football Hall of Fame wide receiver and former Super Bowl champion with the Indianapolis Colts, was on the phone earlier this season with his son, Marvin Jr. They were going over some deficiencies that they both felt like they'd found in Jr.'s game. As Sr. spoke, he heard scribbling on the other end of the line. Junior was writing down every single word. Senior couldn't believe what he was hearing, but it was at that moment that Senior knew. All of the work, all of the love, all of the passion, all of the drive had clicked, and Junior was ready to run the family business. Hey, hey, how's it going? How are you? Marvin, you get your toes on that tee there? Go ahead, put your toes right there. Thank you, boss. And look at me. Yeah. Marvin Harrison, take one marker. In zone, caught! Touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr. in Ohio State touchdown. Straight up to Harrison again, money in the bank. What do you believe your ceiling is? Uh, my goal is to be the best receiver to ever play. Harrison all the way to the house for Ohio State. Everyone I speak with discusses your work ethic. Yeah. Where does that come from? I think it's just in me. Obviously, I've seen how my dad works and uh, where he got to, so I'm just trying to follow his footsteps. One thing he always said was, like, practice is like Super Bowl for him, so. Um, for me right now, every practice, I'm trying to go out there like it's a national championship. The Colts are world champions for the first time since 1971. When did you first realize that your dad was an NFL player? Probably that's the Super Bowl. It was a special time and uh, to be able to do two things at once, win the Super Bowl and have your kid involved with it. That, that's one of the biggest things, biggest moments. I just remember the confetti coming down, being on the field and uh, just being happy for him. What comes with having a Hall of Fame father? I don't know, it's tough. People always say, you don't act like you when he scored touchdown. I'm like, well, he's got a different swagger. But I want him to play the game and have fun. And I think he's doing it. I uh, just focus on myself, putting the work in, and trying to be the best football player that I can be. Harrison in the end zone, got it. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison! Marvin Harrison Jr.'s third touchdown of the game! And Manning going for six, and he is a wide open Harrison! What's one part of your game that you think your dad wishes he'd had? Definitely my height. I'm like <laughs> four inches taller than him, so I think he wished uh, he could be 6'4". I don't think I needed anything else, but there is one thing that I wish he had from my game. You got to complain for the ball. You got to complain. Monday morning, if I have five catches, 70 yards, we can't do nothing else till we have a meeting because I'm not getting the ball. That's it. Throw me the ball, period. Be a bigger diva. That's the advice for your kid. Be the bigger diva. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Being inducted into a Hall of Fame is not something that happens overnight. I'm very thankful and very gracious that, you know, that this has happened. What do you remember about your father's Hall of Fame induction day? I'm finally getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. It was oh, definitely a special moment. And he gave me a little shout out in his speech, so that was pretty nice. Retirement was easy for, for one reason. I have two sons, Marvin and Jet. Come home and be your coach, be your father, and be your friend. There's, there's, no, there's no other feeling in the world that I'd rather do than to come home to you guys. What's more important? Do I want to continue to play football? Or do I want to go home and guide my kids to be the best men they can be and the best players they can be? That was simple. See ya, I'm late, I'm gone. Marvin Harrison touchdown on a 42 yard pass play. I told him, when you go to school, don't follow the guy in front of you. The guy in front of you didn't have me as his coach for 13 years. Do what I've been telling you to do and you'll be fine. Everybody kind of expects you to be just as good, if not better than he is, but I'm just trying to be the best person that I can be for myself. He can achieve whatever he wants. As long as he continues to stay on this right path, I think the sky's the limit. For greater perspective on what it's like to be the namesake of a Hall of Fame father while also chasing the same passion he did professionally, I called up an old friend Friday night. NASCAR star Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Dale told me it's amazing and humbling to carry on the legend and the legacy of your father's name. But with it comes an innate responsibility, an innate pressure, an innate desire to be great. 
because you never want to embarrass the family name. With the kindness he shows others, with the unbelievable work ethic that everyone with whom I spoke about Marvin Harrison Jr. mentioned, and with the passion he competes with, there's no doubt he is carrying on his father's name wonderfully. Reese. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.